We left the Exumas for a quick stop in Nassau before continuing to Chubb Key. Guess what happens when an electronic throttle control malfunctions in a packed marina? One look in your eyes and I find it When you're leaving my mind I rewind it When you got it this good you don't fight it Let this run all lower down. It shouldn't take much more energy if at all to bring it up as it does to put it down, right? It's, it's operating hydraulics, right? Yeah. Is it I thought it was electric. No, it's hydraulic. Yeah, it's, I don't know what the electric does, but it's definitely, because I actually had to have to rebuild. I had a hydraulic leak in it. We had a new ram put in and all that stuff. So uh, I don't know I don't know exactly how they work, but it uses okay. electric to get the hydraulics going. I don't know. I'm uh, leaving Exumas right now and we're on our way to Nassau. Uh, we're about maybe an hour, two hours out of Nassau, uh, about to head into the Yellow Bank, which is an area of the crossing where there's a lot of coral reef heads that you have to watch out for. Uh, but it's pretty much a you know straight path from where we left. Now we had a fantastic time in the Exumas with our crew members, uh, Eric and Dana. We got to explore a couple of islands that we had not been to before and well, the weather was fantastic, which was great because you saw how it was the start of this trip. But it was really great. In fact, the weather's fantastic right now, too. The, the waves are less than a foot. It's sunny out, maybe a little bit humid, but it's really perfect cruising weather. Now, we are taking Eric and Dana to Nassau now, where they're going to hop on a plane and head back to America. And then we're picking up our new crew members, Tim and Kusrin, who are going to join us for the next leg of our trip, which will be uh, Nassau, heading back to the Barry Islands, uh, over to Bimini, and then eventually to Fort Lauderdale. So we're really looking forward to uh, meeting up with them and uh, whatever adventures may arise. We'll see you along the way. Roger out.
just left Nassau about an hour ago. We're heading across the Providence Channel on our way to Chub Key, where we're gonna hang out for a couple of days. Uh, we said um, goodbye to our, our crew members, uh, Eric and Dana, who was sad to see them go. We had a great time with them over the last 10 days, exploring all the islands and, well, just, just enjoying each other's company. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you soon, Eric and Dana. Um, hopefully on the water, we'll be boat buddies next year. Right now, we have been joined by our good friends, Tim and Kusrin, uh, who are gonna join us for the final Bahama leg here, where we're gonna go to the Berry Islands, hang out with Chub Key. We're hoping we can go explore that wreck over by Bimini, and then hang out at Bimini, probably Browns Marina, somewhere thereabouts for a couple of days before heading to Fort Lauderdale. The weather is perfect. We got maybe one footers, following seas, which you can see why we're rocking a little bit here. But other than that, it looks like a great day to cross. And we'll catch it in Chubb. Roger out. One other thing I forgot to say, um, when we went to leave this morning, we discovered a pinhole in the, um, I guess the water inlet pipe. Uh, and I want a big shout out to Jerry Wagner, who made me a spare last year, which I had uh, hidden under the bench over here. And I, I, I was going to replace it proactively, never did, but I always kept it on the boat. So anyway, exactly the same thing again, Jerry. We got a little pinhole in the same pipe, and uh, thanks, you got, us, uh, you got us back on the water just like that. Uh, we had a difficult time getting off the dock today. I think Lynn probably filmed it, but we were really pinned hard against the dock. Uh, maybe a couple of knot current and the winds. Um, we, we got off, no problem, but in the process, we dropped one of our, um, our fenders overboard. Uh, one of Lynn's favorites, too. She named it Fat Boy. <laughs> and we, well, we thought it was gone forever, but uh, a nice guy at the marina who does these charters uh, off... Whisper 2. Whisper 2, is that it? Okay, uh, this nice guy at the marina in uh, Whisper 2, a catamaran that was right by us, saw what happened. And he uh, got in his tender, grabbed our, our, our uh, fender that was floating away, and then brought it out to us in the, in the middle of the harbor there. Real cool. Thanks. I really appreciate that. I hate to have to go out and buy another one. And you saved us a few hundred bucks, and it was really nice of so, you. So. so next time we're in town, we're going to look for Whisper 2, and we owe you a beer. Appreciate it. We also got to meet a, uh, a fan of the channel, uh, Eric, who has a 53 yacht fish right there at Yacht Haven. And he was kind enough to not only come over and introduce himself, he's a member of the NASA Yacht Club. And well, he took us and our friends over there, our crew, and uh, treated us to lunch and drinks. And uh, what a great guy. We had a great time hanging out with you, Eric. And I appreciate all the insight that you gave us to the area. And yeah, we definitely look forward to catching up with you next year when we're back in Nassau. Thanks. Roger. Shortly after arriving in Chub Key Marina, there was an accident between a sport fish and several expensive center consoles. They were not able to get any local divers to inspect the damage because of the bull sharks in the marina. So we lent them our underwater camera and our hookah system. And, uh, the propeller looked pretty good. Didn't get damaged. And, uh, just the rope. That's what we saw. Lucky stars, man. Lucky stars. Yeah, I don't know what it looks like somebody wrapped it around there. So it's not crazy. And the other one doesn't have anything. No damage. Oh, look at that. Oh, God darn. Look at that. Oh, my God. Get the epoxy. That's right. On like this part, but on the other side. Okay. This will buff out. That's from the vector. Dude, we were getting smiled on yesterday. Fucking bottom paint. That's it. Do you want video of it? 
With the underwater, yeah. underwater camera? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Fortunately, no one was injured. I'll let the captain explain what happened. What happened? Well, electronic controls, never, ever, ever. Normally they say you don't trust a yacht broker, you don't trust the weather, you don't trust your... Well, no, that's not true. You, you, you don't trust the weather, man, but... Or windy. Never. <laughs> Never trust your electronic controls, especially anybody you have who's watching. I've had problems with y'all before, but that's how it is. So you went to switch slaves? No, I went to, uh, I, I got the boat tied up and uh, I just went because we have an enclosed pilot house, so I went to the aft station outside just in case they need to adjust the boat at all. Right, right. All of a sudden the boat took off, it popped itself in gear and wouldn't stop, wouldn't stop. And I tried to correct with the throttles outside. I tried to shut it down with the, with the stop, uh, stop buttons outside, didn't stop. I'm going straight into this dock over here. Yeah. And uh, I uh, ran inside, activated the station, tried to use my, my sticks there, nothing. And then finally, um, just press the stop buttons up there was the only thing to work. Kill. The kill. Kill them. The kill switch. Kill them. So. And there's nothing you could do to prevent that because that's something Absolutely that. Absolutely nothing. It was, it, was an act of, it was an act of God. Yeah. It was an act of God. Here's the mechanic right here. Yeah. Yeah. It's in your brainer. Yeah. So I'm. He, Angel's watching yeah, over you guys. Yeah. I've had, I've had electronic controls go out several times before, but this was by far. Mm. By far. But nobody got hurt, nobody so that's hurt. okay. Um, that was why, like yesterday, I was like, I felt like I was in a fucking dreamland. Mm. Like, because I saw when we were coming in to this dock here, there was nothing I do to stop the boat. Yeah. There's two center consoles, like $2 million. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> and like, I'm watching, there's a guy in his cockpit, and I'm, I'm like, oh. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. I yeah. Kind of, I'm in an enclosed pilot house. I can't. Yeah. So I'm watching the guy, I'm like, he's dead. I'm fucking, I'm thinking to myself, rest of my life in prison in the Bahamas. That's, that's what I got in Fox, in Fox Hill. When I, when I, I found out that he jumped out of the boat, oh, I God. still didn't register with my head, so I'm like, I couldn't fucking do that. I was like, if I killed somebody out of fucking drunk, I wouldn't even have to do it. Yeah. So. Well, it didn't work that way, and everything ended up happy. they were able to continue their trip to Puerto Rico. The other two damaged boats did not authorize us to film and we're not sure what happened to them.